welcome back in this module 3 we'll be discussing about metamask the smart contracts wallet how a metamask is helpful what is the need of a wallet we'll be beginning with a video where we'll be talking about the structure of an ethereum blockchain protocol we'll be comparing it with a bitcoin protocol structure and we'll be focusing on what is the need of an external wallet then in the coming videos in this module we'll be focusing on the hands-on session where how you can use a crypto wallet and you can write down in a smart contract using a remix id this module 3 of the course is really very interesting and very important which would give you a flair of knowledge that how you can write down the smart contract in an hands-on manner using the remix id so let's begin with the concept of what is the need of metamask how to integrate it and how it fits into the structure of a blockchain platform in this video i'll be showing you the structure of a blockchain platform and explaining you about the metamask so let's see and try to understand it with the help of a diagram i'm drawing in front of you on the screen let's draw the basic structure of any blockchain platform at a lower level we have the hardware of the computer above this hardware we deal with the network and operating system above the network and operating system of any computer of any node we have a blockchain protocol I am writing it a block protocol. This blockchain protocol may be of Ethereum, it may be of Bitcoin. So let's say that for example that it is of Bitcoin. In a Bitcoin blockchain protocol, above it there is only one layer which we call it as a wallets and these wallets keep hold of crypto currencies. There are different type of wallets, there are different type of Bitcoin wallets which are available and similarly for other blockchain protocols also wallets are there. What is a wallet? Let us first talk about what is a wallet. Wallet is your account. For example, your Paytm account, your bank account which holds your crypto currencies. So wallet is a reservoir, wallet is an application, it is a reservoir, it is an account where you are keeping your crypto currencies. A wallet is used for various things. From your wallet you can send cryptocurrencies to someone, you can receive cryptocurrencies to someone. So it is similar to a bank account. There are different type of wallets, let's talk about the three types of wallets one type of wallet is known as a desktop wallet what is it it is a desktop wallet in a desktop wallet the application of the wallet is installed into your desktop wallet second type of wallet is a mobile app based wallet mobile app based wallet in the mobile app based wallet the wallet is stored into a, your mobile as an app and the third is a browser based wallet the browser based wallet is not stored in the desktop, it is not stored in the mobile as an app, but it is added as a plugin into your browser. The wallet which we will be seeing in this module is named as Metamask. The name of the wallet which we will be seeing in this module is Metamask and it is a browser based wallet. Having seen this Bitcoin structure, 
structure where we have a hardware, network, block protocol and a wallet because Bitcoin deals mainly with exchange of cryptocurrencies. Now when it is dealing with exchange of cryptocurrencies, a small smart contract which we have talked before also, a small smart contract which is written with only 200 opcodes is inbuilt in this block protocol and it executes whenever there is a transfer of cryptocurrencies from one sender to another receiver. Whenever there is a transfer of cryptocurrencies, the smart contract and Bitcoin protocol is executed. In this module, we have to work on Ethereum protocol. So let's see how this Ethereum protocol is different from Bitcoin protocol and what is the structure of this Ethereum protocol and need of a smart contract and wallet in an Ethereum network, in an Ethereum protocol. So let's see the Ethereum protocol. In the Bitcoin protocol, as you can see that the smart contract which we have already explained in the previous module that the smart contract is inbuilt within the Bitcoin protocol. That is, it is a small smart contract of 200 of codes where the user has limitations and it is not used for applications. So let's see on what is the structure of an Ethereum protocol. The Ethereum protocol also follows the same structure with some difference. It also used a hardware layer at the bottom level, a network and operating system above it. Then we have a blockchain protocol. Over and above this blockchain protocol, a special layer is there which is known as a smart contract. And above the smart contract is decentralized applications. This is the structure of our Ethereum blockchain platform or the structure of our Ethereum protocol. The difference between the Ethereum and Bitcoin network, the Bitcoin platform is that Bitcoin was meant only for transfer of cryptocurrencies whereas Ethereum gave the power of a smart contract and it opened the world for applications where blockchain can be used for applications using these smart contracts. But to use these smart contracts as a smart contract was there in Bitcoin, which was inbuilt in Bitcoin. Similarly, for using these smart contracts, we require some external wallets. The wallets are not there in the network design. It is not there in the structure of network of the Bitcoin, but we require the wallets which control these smart contracts, which are controlling the executions of the smart contracts. Whenever there is a transaction, for example, in Bitcoin, whenever there is a transaction from one sender to any receiver, the smart contract was executed. Similarly, in Ethereum, whenever there is a transaction, the smart contract is executed and for execution of these smart contracts, wallets are required. The cryptocurrency of Ethereum is known as Ether. The cryptocurrency of Ethereum is known as Ethers, which are stored in the wallets of Ethereum. There are different type of wallets. In this module, we will be exploring a wallet known as Metamask. Let me repeat, the cryptocurrency of Ethereum is known as Ether. For example, Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency was known as Bitcoin. We will be dealing in our course with Ethereum. So it is very important to stress on the point that the cryptocurrency of Ethereum is known as Ether. And the wallet will is MetaMask which will be holding these Ethers. To write down the smart contract to execute the transactions, Ethers are required. And as Ethers are very costly, therefore for developers, Ethereum has given different testing networks 
So we'll be exploring the testing networks in this module and seeing that how we can write down the smart contract, how we can create our own wallet and how we can get the testing ethers. We cannot get actual ethers, but for our development purpose, we'll be dealing with testing ethers. So coming back to this structure, the smart contract runs over and above the protocol. This smart contract is acting as a bridge between the blockchain protocol. We can say that this is the smart contract. It is acting as a bridge between the blockchain protocol and our hardware. So this smart contract is basically contacting this blockchain protocol. Whatever we are writing as a code in this smart contract is being executed on this blockchain platform. This blockchain platform is executing the smart contract. What is basically in a smart contract is we have already seen that a smart contract is a piece of code which is executing itself. For example, if I say that I am writing a blockchain application for voting. So there can be a smart contract written like this that if age of the person is greater than 18 then he can vote else he cannot vote. So we can write down this type of piece of code. So this type of piece of code is the smart contract which will run itself and see that if the age is greater than 18 then only the voting right is given otherwise the voting right is not given. So the smart contract runs on a Ethereum virtual machine. There is an Ethereum virtual machine over and above we write down the smart contract and the smart contract runs on this Ethereum virtual machine. The smart contract can be written in different languages. For example, in Ethereum, Solidity is one of the language which is used to write down the smart contract. We will be using Solidity. Other language is also there which we have named before like Serpent but we will be focusing on Solidity. So we will be writing the smart contract in Solidity. This course is not meant to teach you Solidity. You can learn Solidity with different courses. It is as simple as learning Java and C++. It is also an object oriented programming. We will be telling brief of Solidity in this course when we will be writing the smart contract and then we will be running the smart contract. But the smart contract is not user friendly. It is written to interact with the EVM. So what is the ultimate aim? We have a Ethereum virtual machine over and above the smart contract is written by the blockchain engineer. The blockchain engineer or the user, the blockchain developer concentrates and write down this smart contract. To make it a user friendly application, a decentralized application is written which is known as a DAP, decentralized application. This decentralized application is written by front end developer. A blockchain engineer, a blockchain developer concentrates over the smart contract and the blockchain developer and this front end developer contribute and discuss with each other to write down this front end application. In this module, we will be seeing that how you can write down a DAP and how this DAP integrates with the smart contract. So this module is all about MetaMask, smart contracts and DAP. In the brief of this module, I have tried to explain you the structure of this Ethereum network, the Ethereum blockchain protocol, what is the importance of a smart contract, how ethers are stored, where ethers are stored, that is in a wallet, what is a DAP. Now, in the coming video, we'll be seeing more about this wallets and also seeing it in a hands-on manner where we'll be explaining that how you can install and 
add a wallet in your desktop browser. Thank you.